Yes, now we'll discuss about the development of heart part 3. In this part, we'll discuss about the fate of sinus venosus and atrioventricular uh, sinoatrial orifice. This is sinoatrial orifice between sinus venosus and atrium. This is sinoatrial orifice. And this is sinus venosus. So, this is a trail chamber, and this is sinus venosus. This is sinus venosus. This is central part of the body of the sinus venosus, and these are two horns. This is a right horn and this is a left horn. This is atrial chamber and this is sinoatrial orifice. On the right side, this right horn receives three veins. These veins are right common cardinal vein, right umbilical vein, and right vitiline vein. Same way on left side, this is left common cardinal vein, left umbilical vein, and left vitiline vein. And here you can see the sinoatrial orifice shape is transverse and centrally placed, this is centrally placed and transversely oriented. In further development, this left horn of the sinus venosus, it reduced in the size. like this and here this sinoatrial orifice shifted towards the right side if you see here this is like this this centrally placed and here it shifted towards the right side this orifice become here and this part become disappear. So it is shifted towards the right side. In further development, this left horn become tributary of the right horn. And on the right side, this right umbilical vein becomes disappear. Only common cardinal vein and vitiline vein is present. This is common cardinal vein and vitiline vein is present. And this, this part forms the coronary sinus and oblique vein of left atrium. And it opens into this right horn of the sinus venosus here. So, and here you can see this part. This is sinoatrial orifice. The shape of the sinoatrial orifice is now. Now, this is shape of the sinus atrial orifice. You have seen that it is shifted towards the right side and then it becomes oblique. 
and forms here this is septum spuria this is septum spuria and this is right venous wall and here on left side this is left venous wall so this orifice has right venous wall on the right side left venous wall on the left side and this is this is septum spurium both these valves margin of the wall fuse to form this septum spurium so this is septum spurium septum spurium so this is our bodily part 3